Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. In my <laughs> peripheral vision, I can see Jen just laughing at me. <laughs> Jen, we watched a bunch of these this weekend with my family. You did? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I was sitting there you in the corner like this. It? I was like, they're like, put it on. Well, the family was in town and I just had to sit there. Not Frank Stallone though, that was entertaining. <laughs> Way more entertaining than I am. <laughs> I like watching that. But uh, no, it was great to have my family in town, and uh, thank you guys for welcoming and the welcoming them. Uh, they mean a lot to me. And uh, you know, one of the hardest things about being out here is uh, being away from them. So uh, thank you for giving them the welcome. And uh, we had a fun time. We went out with Norm on Friday for my dad's birthday. We went to the write-off room. Um, and saw some beautiful session players uh, who just played on like Steely Dan, all these uh, amazing records, and they played a Pat Metheny tune that my dad loves, the first tune they played when we walked in, so that was cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so that was an amazing uh, weekend we had, but it's a whole new week of Guitar of the Day. Um, as I said, we got a big shipment of guitars still going through all of them, so this is another piece from the last shipment. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, let's just go, let's get to it. Come on back, let's check it out. So this, it's a 1976 Fender Telecaster Custom. Ooh, la la. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, this is super cool. So we got our ashtray. Yeah, that's what we're gonna say. Yeah, this is ash. Yeah, it's just from... ash away <laughs> while we play this amazing guitar. So this is a custom. Uh, they made these in 72. Um, it's got the Seth Lover wide-ranging humbucking pickup. Uh, sounds great in the neck position. And it's also got the single coil pickup in the bridge, which is great. Um, but black on black with the rosewood neck is super rare. Uh, you usually see them with the maple neck and just has that stealthy look about it. I actually prefer this. And it's funny, a lot of guys prefer maple necks on their strats and fenders. Um, and I've played a few great ones, but I gotta say, there's something about the rosewood neck. Most, all my strats back home have rosewood necks, and same with my telly, so. Um, I don't know, I think there's something about it. It's got the 70s uh, bullet truss rod, and uh, some cool inlays up top with the custom sign up there. Um, but just an amazing guitar. It's the strength their body, uh, three bolt on, but it's actually got a pretty hefty neck on it, too. Um, it's kind of like a fatter C, if you can take a look. Um, and it's got the skunk stripe on there too, but pretty clean. I mean if you look at it I mean, yeah, there's not nice. even really like belt buckle marks on there, which you usually always see on a guitar a um, few little stuff little uh, Things here on down here too, but nothing crazy. I mean, this is just one of the coolest guitars and I think too uh, when they added the humbucker, it was a big step for Fender, um, and I think especially for the Telecasters because they're such a solid body guitar. And on modern music, like I've said before, Radiohead or or Coldplay, um, sometimes I prefer one over the other, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Radiohead. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this is just a cool guitar that they've been using uh, a lot of modern bands because with this. Seth Lever humbucking pickup, you can get a really cool sounds with your effect pedals. And also you always have the classic single coil. So we're gonna take it up front and see what this thing can do, but man, what a what a clean guitar. And uh I like the black. Yeah, that's cool. That yeah. you're gonna just look cool no matter what. You're you gonna know. look cool. Yeah, you don't need excuses with this guitar. You just go, I'm here. Let's do it. That's probably why they don't have they don't wear belts. And I said let's do it. You know what? You know what? Hurry up then. Woo! Yeah, look at the shirts. That's the so <laughs> That's my boy. I'm flying the flag, baby. I'll tell you, Someone, best t-shirt sale ever right here. Someone's gotta put a, a stick up for this poor someone's guy. Someone's gotta stick up for me because Aww. it's getting nasty on the comments. <laughs> nah, just kidding. See you out front. All right, we're out front with the 1976 Fender Telecaster Custom. Uh, we're going through the 1966 Fender Pro Reverb, all the keys at noon, a little bit of verb, and the Tube Screamer, but first we're going to start without it. So here we go uh, with the humbucker neck position.
we're going to go into a middle position with a little bit of tube screamer. Uh, so a little overdrive. Both pickups are working together. Here we go. Here we go, uh, now we're gonna go to uh, bridge pickup. The 1976 Fender Telecaster Custom in all black. Uh, you can find these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook at Normans Rare Guitars. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. I'm glad to be here, and we will see you for a whole new week of Guitar of the Day with some guests and all the above. See you soon. Bye.